Hey guys, it's Jake from Web Design Weekly. Hope all is going well. Um, just thought I'd share a few tips about the Chrome Developer Tools. Um, I use it every day, and some of these tips that I'm going to show you, um, hopefully, they'll increase your workflow. Um, so first, let's just jump over to uh, CSS Tricks. Really cool site. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go and check it out. Chris Coy does an awesome job. Okay, so to get the uh, Chrome Developer Tools um, up, we we'll just go Command Option I. So there we go, and if that's on the Resources tab, but we can move across or back um, with the Command Square Bracket. Super easy. Cool. So on the body, we we'll just give it a background because we want a different background. We can hit the color, the little color box, and we can toggle styles super easy we can even we can give that edit that style give it a nice light red high margin you know, we can do lots of cool stuff lots of cool stuff so uh, we can even increment that value by 10 if we hold shift so that's super quick to do big, big pixel jumps or the likes. Um, so we want to maybe we want to do some JavaScript with that particular element. We can just bring up the console with the escape key, um, and then we what we what Chrome Developer Tools does really cool is whatever element selected, we can do stuff with that by just passing in the dollar zero so dollar zero is our body what we can do there is just go um, we can fade that out like so so that's gone we can fade that in super easy so we can do heaps of cool stuff with the dollar zero um, the, what else we can just do a quick like yay cool CSS tricks is cool so is web design weekly um, a lot of cloud in the console command K will clear that hide that with the escape key um, we can bring up the keyboard shortcuts with shift question mark that's really handy and I always tend to go to that um, hide that with the escape key um, we can jump over to the elements view um, we can go command F we can find a particular um, element or word so just get the body, um, we can go to the next one with command G, we can go back with command shift G. Um, if we want to go to the line number, we go command L, type in the line number we want to go to, that's too easy. Um, toggle back to the elements view, um, we're on the body, if we want to go down inside, we can just use the arrow keys and the right arrow key to go inside that particular element. Um, we can go inside the juice ID because that's pretty pretty cool ID I reckon the juice because that is the juice um, so we're on the article we want to give that particular article a particular style what we can do we're like ah uh, what what style rule do we have to apply to that the this little plus button over here you just click that when the, that element is selected and it'll Chrome Tools will pretty much fill the ID or the class name out for you. Um, too easy. So, see, bang. Uh, another really handy um, little tool I or tip, tool tip, same jazz. Um, so, if we're on a tag, this was really easy in Firebug, um, and it wasn't in the dev tools for a while but it now is so if you're on an a tag and you want to know the style of the hover state um, 
you can just toggle that on using the uh, toggle state um, button. So now I can just go willy nilly um, and then do some crazy voodoo. So um, uh, the other the other thing which I think is like probably the best. Um, I always try and utilize it is if you jump over to the resources uh, your style sheets are down here and uh, wait we'll just go and go back into the elements and we'll just chuck uh, I don't know chuck a padding and make it a wacko then we can just go to that particular line number you can see that it's been edited with the light green background with our new styles what you can do is you can you're like man I absolutely hate those new styles you can revert back to the original or what you can do is you can save all these new styles that you've done um, and then if you just go dot .css in there save that replace that file bang your whole new style sheet that all the work that you did in the browser is now your main style sheet without having to copy and paste, copy and paste. So yeah, uh, there's some quick tips. I uh, hope you learned something. Uh, see you next time.